Secondary users in the UHF band below 1 GHz are faced with more and more reduction of their required physical basis, free radio spectrum. This is caused by decisions to reallocate spectrum resources to other services and to allow additional services with the dynamical spectrum access in the remaining bands. Coexistence and efficiency in the use of radio spectrum will become the key challenges of future radio systems operating in TV UHF. The quality and reliability of today's music and theater productions, live acts, electronic news gathering, and conference events heavily depend on wireless audio transmission systems and the respective radio environment. Audible interferences caused by radio interferences are undesired during operation. Static frequency assignments even with backup, no longer seem to be feasible if the same frequency bands are allocated also to other radio devices, which may suddenly start to operate. Therefore, large events require additional staff and incident management in order to take care of radio interferences. In this regard, the CPMSE project has developed and successfully presented the CPMSE demonstration platform at the fairgrounds of the Messe Berlin in Germany. The CPMSE project is co-founded by the German Ministry of Economics and Technology. The CPMSE platform is aimed to guarantee the operational reliability of PMSE systems focusing on professional wireless microphones for future dynamic radio environments through the application of so-called cognitive radio concepts. The demonstration platform consists of three main subsystems, a cognitive core system, a supportive scanning, and a frequency booking system. Subsystems further refer to several underlying software and hardware components communicating with each other. The frequency booking system is used for negotiation of the potentially usable frequency bands. In the project, a software component local spectrum manager and an additional web-based user interface were developed. The scanning system incorporates a grid of scanning devices which were installed on the fairgrounds of Messe Berlin. In total, 22 scanners, including one located at the receiving antenna of the CPMSE system, have been installed two to six per hall depending on the hall size. Here, the idea is to use the locally distributed scanners to create radio environment maps of the event location and the area around it. Thus, potential radio interferences can be detected by the cognitive system prior to their impact on the professional wireless microphones. Internally, the scanning controller collects the scan results by grouping multiple scanners. The cognitive system can further aggregate this data by clustering the results based on individually configured areas around the event location. Then, the cognitive system finally operates on basis of the respective radio environment maps and dynamically allocates appropriate spectral resources within the negotiated frequency bands. It reallocates if interference occurs. The cognitive PMSE system features the cognitive engine, related wireless audio links, and a demonstration monitor, which functions as an administrator and a visualization interface. The system finally includes the CPMSE database connecting the software components. Looking at the hardware that was developed in the CPMSE project, we find the wireless audio links, which are represented by audio transmitters and receivers, extended with remote control capabilities and with a new functionality to estimate the radio link quality. All audio-based stations and some additional devices are mounted into a rack unit, which can be placed on the stage if required. Link parameters, such as the transmit frequency and power, can be set using the remote control channel at system startup and during operation. 
the link quality is permanently estimated and fed back as LQI to the higher software layers of the cognitive engine. The cognitive engine itself is running on a server connected to the network infrastructure and the grid of scanning devices. Using the radio environment map created by the scanning system and the LQI, the cognitive engine performs a continuous spectrum rating. As indicated, the actual spectrum allocation mainly evaluates the two metrics, risk and quantity. Risk expresses the probability of interference, whereas the quality expresses the expected signal to noise ratio. Using the CPMSE demonstration platform, different scenarios can be evaluated. Assuming the wireless audio links are mainly used in the area of the Palais, the scanning devices in Hall 18, 19, and 20, and the entrance area can be used to track interferers approaching the stage area and can be used for the risk measurement. The quality measurement is based on the scanning devices connected to the antennas of the CPMSE system. If, for instance, an interfering signal is switched on next to the stage, this causes a sudden decrease of the quality metric and subsequently a new frequency allocation. Transmit frequencies of the respective links are changed immediately. It's worth pointing out that the cognitive engine is not relying on a static frequency allocation table, but continuously generating and evaluating potential allocations with respect to the current radio environment. If an interferer is entering into Hall 18, the wireless audio links at the stage might work properly. However, if the interferer is coming closer to the stage, the measured risk will increase causing affected links to change their transmit parameters prior to an audible interference. What is actually meant by an interferer? One of the new TV white space devices? Note that an interferer can also be a non-cognitive PMSE device, which is turned on without considering the local spectrum regulation issues. Using the CPMSE platform, the user is supported by a system that constantly obtains knowledge of its operational and geographical environment, established policies, and its internal state. Such a system enables the automatic adaptation of wireless audio link parameters in order to improve the operational reliability of PMSE systems. PMSE systems are used not only for music and theater productions, but also for conferences and electronic news gathering. The demonstrator platform was used to gain practical knowledge and a deeper understanding of cognitive PMSE and coexistence with legacy PMSE and other systems deployed in the same UHF frequency bands.